Tonight we're back in the 2023 Audi S6. We already filmed a full review on this earlier this week. I figured I'd give you guys a POV night drive, show you the interior ambient lighting, headlights, and just basically what this car looks like in the dark. And we'll sum up some thoughts on it that I've had this week. Let's start this up. We'll walk around it real quick and then we'll take it for a drive. Cool. Pretty sharp looking ambient lighting in this S6. You have a lot of different customization. Let's hop outside first and we'll show you what the exterior looks like at night and then we'll play around with some of the interior lighting. You're greeted with this S logo projected down from the door. Very sharp, very cool looking. It's also on the rear passenger doors. Interior lighting is very nice and bright. You get these illuminated seat belt surrounds here, which is pretty cool. Climate control in the back looks nice. Four hundred forty-four horsepower out of a two point nine liter twin turbo and electrically supercharged V six. We've got an automatic transmission, quattro all wheel drive. Very comfortable, very large, very luxurious, fast sedan. I've really enjoyed driving this thing this week. It's a lot of fun. 21 inch wheels. We are on Pirelli winter tires tonight. We have the S beam headlights. Love this DRL design right here. The interiors of these cars are just so sharp looking at night. The red contrast stitching, the, all the little aluminum accents. Adds up to be a very special feeling interior. A lot of screens in Audi's new interiors. I don't mind them as much because there are a lot of constant controls, but still it can be a little bit distracting uh, with the lack of physical buttons. You do have to take your eyes off the road for a lot of the tasks, especially with climate control and uh, anything here in the infotainment menu. We get wireless CarPlay, Android Auto, all that good stuff. Nice little haptic feedback. Let's go into our settings. You can control your display and brightness right there. You have to go through a couple menus to do it. No switch over to the left or anything like that. No quick menu that I've found. Turn on our head-up display, change the brightness of that if we want. And then if you go into vehicle, we can select our ambient lighting here. Let's turn off this interior lighting. And we have a bunch of different options here. Contour is white. That actually looks pretty good. You can choose just pretty much any color you could want. I'm really liking Impulse. Red's a little bit easier on the eyes at night. And you can also have it uh, sync up with your drive mode. So dynamic, that'll turn us red. Individual, white, comfort, probably, well, yellow, interesting. Maybe we'll leave it on that. I kind of like that. Reverse camera is really nice in the dark. Pretty high res, not as wide angle, but when you turn the wheel, the camera turns also, which is a pretty cool Audi feature. I've always liked that. I think let's take this for a drive. Again, if you want a more in-depth video, check out the POV day drive that we posted earlier this week. So we're gonna start off in auto drive mode. This car is very quiet, very comfortable around town. Transmission is very smooth. It says four wheel steer, so you get a really tight, fast steering ratio. Brights are incredibly bright. We'll turn you guys around here, show you some dark road ahead. are fantastic. 
plastic in this S6, as you would expect. I like auto mode because when you give it just a little bit more gusto, a little more throttle, it'll give you burbles from that sport exhaust. <laughs> and then when you're just kind of babying it around town, it's subtle, it's quiet, it's not as shouty and loud. Let's switch into dynamic mode though, because I think that's probably where the most enjoyment is with this S6. Lots of different views and displays in this center digital gauge cluster. See our fuel economy, date and time, driving assistance system. CarPlay looks good at night too. Sometimes CarPlay can be a little bit too bright. That's not the case here with this Audi. Everything seems pretty well matched in the interior in terms of consistent brightness. I like that. All right, off we go. Still loving this exhaust. There's just so much personality here. Once you get used to Audi's cruise control stock, it's so intuitive, easy to use. I wish more manufacturers implemented this style. It's funny because whenever you get into a Porsche, it's the complete opposite direction for all the controls, but it still works just as well. Push forward to cancel, pull back to resume. Up and down, you can skip five mile an hour increments really quickly. I love it. Change distance very easily too. And then you can select lane tracing, lane centering with the, the turn signal stock over here. There's a button at the end of it. On winter tires there is a ton of mechanical grip here thanks to the four-wheel steer remember when Audis used to just understeer everywhere that is not quite the case anymore the new RS6 was incredibly neutral this S6 is still quite good even though it's a bit softer and more wallowy there's some body roll here it still handles beautifully and I think on a proper set of summer performance tires. This would just eat up some corners.
very mature demeanor, but still fun at a moment's notice when you want it to be. All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap on the 2023 Audi S6. It's been a fun week in this car. Stay tuned for more videos coming later this week. And again, if you want to check out the full review, I will post a link to that in the top comment. Let's park this. I'll walk you around it one more time. And that will be a wrap. Thanks again for watching. These illuminated door handles are a nice classy addition. And then just one of the most impressive things about this car this week, look at the size of these brakes. Way to fill up a 21 inch wheel. Just awesome. That lock chime never gets old. That's a neat animation.